Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new old school RuneScape video. First of all, happy new year to everyone. First video of the year. Uh, last year we got to 100k, which is sick. This year, hopefully, uh, you know, we, we get a bit further. But today, there is a huge day for old school, or a pretty big day for old school, should we say, rather, because we got a new boss. And today, it's all going to be about first look of the boss. I'm also going to do a 100 kill count of it, just to kind of test the water, see what, what, what kind of loot we can expect. So that being said, I really do hope you guys will enjoy it. Let's get into it. Now, first of all, if you want to access the next, you have to do a very simple mini quest, and that consists of you killing every single uh, general in God Wars and obtaining a small key piece. You then assemble those keys together, and you can enter the room that is just south of the entrance to the God Wars, and you'll be right in front of Nex. Should be able to go right inside. Beautiful. Does the damage stack? The damage does not stack. That mi I'm already thinking about Deadman mode. I'm thinking that this could be a really nice Deadman mode escape. And I guess on the next clip, the next will be released. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess it's happening. Uh, let's go ahead and farm some ecumenical keys first, though. All right, I just woke up and the next is released. Now, uh, I have my ecumenical key. I am a little bit late. This could be dangerous. Yes, don't ask me again. I got to kind of guess the gear already because I see how others have done it. Uh, but when you make your way through, there should be a bank guy here somewhere. Maybe this guy is the banker. And uh, obviously, next is in here, so... We're gonna be testing it out in a second. Can I access my bank? What do I need? Oh, there we go. Nothing. Perfect. Now you may be wondering, where am I going to store all the money that we are going to make with the release of Nex? Well, the answer is right here in the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is slim, lightweight and industrial wallet. It is designed to easily fit in your front pocket and it can hold up to 12 cards, including cash. The wallet is never going to fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket like an old-fashioned wallet would. Here, you can see the comparison between my old wallet and the Ridge Wallet, so honestly, the switch over to the reach was a no-brainer for me. I personally love to use it when I go to the gym as it fits my gym card and all my other cards perfectly but I also used it as a gift for my family during Christmas and now my whole family loves it. If you are unsure which wallet to get there are over 30 styles and colors to choose from and my personal favorite is the half dome but there are also so many others that I really like and the best part is the wallets come with a lifetime warranty as they are made with such a durable material. So if any of that sounds good to you, make sure you head over to reach.com slash MikaRS and you'll be able to get 10% off. That is reach.com slash MikaRS and use the code MikaRS. Thank you once again to the Reach for continually supporting our channel. And now let's get on with the video. All right. So, I mean, I guess we're just going to have to go in as soon as we can here. And... Um... There's 80 people in this world, oh my god. Here we are, we are inside, I've got no idea what to expect, but apparently it's good to claw it at the beginning, so that's what I'm doing. I can't attack it yet, so come on. That's gonna be my first ever next kill. There we go, spec number one, can I go? There we go, zeros. Ooh, nice XP drop. And then I guess you go, f oh my god, everyone's coughing, I can't even see anything, okay? That died immediately. What is going on? It's already half HP. Hello? Now this guy is already attackable. So basically, for those of you on Oh my god, that's that's a lot of damage. I've done uh, I've done next on uh, RS3. Uh, obviously, I've played that version of the game and uh dude, these kills are so fast. Oh, Ruby, nice. Oh, it's actually healing quite a lot there. It's very hard to see, so I'm going to I'm going to tag next just so I see where it's located in the map. Also, I think my stats get drained quite a lot, yep. This coughing is probably draining uh, my stats, I think. So I'm 95, 91. Yeah, that's why the restores are so needed, basically. Uh, I guess we've killed this one already. I feel like in a mass, you can literally just bolt necks all the time and not even worry about the little guys. And uh, yeah, the kills are really simple in a mass. It's just about... Someone has some smoke around me, apparently. Okay, hopefully... I mean, I didn't bring enough uh, food. Also, it has the new prayers. So that's kind of cool to see. And, uh, well, the first drop is Air Orbs with Uncut Diamonds. It's good, though, that I already got a drop. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm afraid I might maybe didn't take enough brews with me. Just gotta pick all the sharks up and eat. Nihil Shard. What? I just got something. Where is it? 3kc and I got uh, a drop. Wait, where is it, though? There we go, found it. Nihil Shard. No idea what it is used for, but I'll take it. Ooh, I also got some super restores. Uh, and some brews, so that's really good. 
Just gonna drink that and restores right here. The whole fucking room is just loot. That is insane. Ecumenical key shard. I can make ecumenical keys from that? That's kind of cool. That's a new drop I didn't know existed. The first impressions of the boss after like 5 kill count is just a, in a mass, it's just an AFK bolt the boss boss. And you let others take care of the corners, because obviously you need to kill the corners in order to get the KC. Uh, but yeah, I just bolt the boss and chill and AFK. And I've gotten the drop every single time in a high pop world, like 80 people in a world. So I think it's an alright strategy to go uh, to go with. Wait, was that Torvalegs in this one? Oh my god, he did get... We just see the Torva legs. That's crazy. There they are. The first drop that we see. Damaged Torva plate legs. That's kind of cool. Oh, there, oh, there's gonna be bruise on the floor, cannonballs. You can see all the drops. 245 Sarah bruise, 122 super restores. That's a lot of fucking loot, man. Obviously, it's 80 people in this room right now, so that that's why. Yeah, I'm getting like every kill, basically. What is blood essence? So this is another new drop that I just got that I don't know what it does. I have ecumenical key shards, blood essences and nihil shards right now and I have no idea what they do. Wait, how do you leave this place? Do you just log out or something? Okay. Yeah, okay, I can just log out and then run back in because it uses that kill count. That's really convenient, nice. Or I can use the altar to teleport out as well. Ancient ceremonial boots? And I can't find the- if you guys see the ecumenical key shards anywhere, let me know. I think my drop just disappeared actually, like I can't see it. Look at this, wait, give me all the uncut diamonds now, now it's a race for loot. Damn it. Wait, this guy's on it, this super slisco is on it, and I'll let him have all the diamonds, god damn it. Cough, 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 cough. <laughs> oh my, look at the screen, bro. Holy shit. Like I'll make more- Money just looting, basically. Seems like the all the loot on the floor disappears after the certain part in the kill. Like it, she just wipes the floor, basically. Pray, teleport. I have kill count already from before, and I just instantly enter the room like that. And uh, yeah, that that's really nice, and I can just get right back into it. This trip, 1.1 million with 6 ecumenical keys. The first trip we also made similar amount. Wait, someone just got something, hold up. Zerite Vembraces for Saradin. So that's Vembraces are... I, I believe the Vembraces are new best in slot range uh, glove. So they're definitely gonna be sought after. 300k? Look at this guy. He has the helm already, what the fuck? Alright, so I've done about 42 kills with a range setup, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change to a mage setup just to test it out, because at the moment, um, obviously if you are killing Nex, your max stat constantly gets drained, but if I put ma magic gear on and still use range, it's gonna start lowering my magic attack instead of my ranged, so that's what I'm gonna try and see if it feels any better in a mass. Alright, so this is my new setup that we're gonna go with, and as you can see, the goal is to just have magic bonus be higher than your range bonus. So I'm going with Ancestral, Fury, Eternal Boot, Sears Ring, and Tormented Bracelet. And then we have Armadil Crossbow with Spectral with obviously Rubies for the boss. And then Twisted Bow with Dragon Arrows for the little minions on the sides. Uh, I'm gonna try going with that, see if we can get some MVPs and see if it feels any better in a mass. Ooh, it says that it's like 2 million for Blood Essence. I don't know if that's the actual price, but I've gotten like three of those already. We'll see how much these sell for later on when we actually go to sell them. Um, I absolutely love this setup though. This is... I, I really enjoyed. I'm just gonna tweak my inventory a little bit, and I'll come back with uh, a new and improved setup once again. There it is. Ancient Healed. Okay, this is the new setup. We now have two Staminas, two Ranging Potion, one Combat Potion, a little bit less switches with melee, Tebow for the minions, and uh, yeah, Book for the Skeletons. Right, let's see how this goes. Another Blood Essence. This is gonna be so much money, I hope. Let's see. Uh, hide local player is me, right? Yeah, see that hides me. It's Hide Others 2D. <gasps> there it is. There it is. We did it. We're gonna see absolutely no one. Guys, I'm soloing, look. I don't know where all the arrows are coming from, that's all just me. Oh my, this actually makes it so much nicer, by the way. Oh, I like that. I like the Entity Hider in a mass, very cool. I was gonna say, someone got a Nihil shard, because I looked it, uh, I saw it here. And it was me, not bad. Brother, there's so much shit. <laughs> 
What the fuck? Good thing there's a floor wipe mechanic, because otherwise, bro, this would stay on the floor forever. What's my KC at? 69. Okay, nice. There we go. That should be a very solid inventory to go with. See, but like sharks disappeared. Look, Mika receives a drop. Seven sharks and three prayer potions. And six air orb. Disappeared. You see this? That keeps happening. I, I don't know why. Oh, I got big bone. Wait, were they those mine? Another blood essence. That's money right there. We'll take it. Thank you. And three nihil shards. Did they increase the drop rate on these? At the beginning, I would only get one, but now I'm getting three. So they could have hotfixed that to get multiple, or it was always between one and three, or something like that. I don't know. Either way, three of those. Still don't have a crossbow or anything. That was actually a really nice trip. I don't think this is worth two million, though. This is probably like 300, 400k, maybe. Alright, so after 100 kill count, I have a pretty clear representation of, well, what the basic drops are. And obviously, when you're gonna be doing next, you're not gonna be doing it for the basic drops, right? You're gonna be doing it to get those big Torva uniques and whatnot, and the crossbows. And let's take a look in the collection log what else you can even get from next. So you are able to get the pet, the, the hilt, the horn, um, uh, the vembraces, and obviously the full Torva. And these uh, Nihil shards, right? Which you use, I think, to 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 use on the crossbow or this nihil horn i don't really fully understand how it works but the basic drops you're gonna be seeing a lot of uncuts uh, rubies diamonds some uh, air orbs um some zamorak uh, wines of zamis uh, obviously you're gonna get a shit ton of brews and restores as you're killing it and you're also gonna get a fair amount of blood runes soul runes and death runes however i already had stacks of those in my bank so i don't uh, know exactly how many of each i got Obviously, rune light isn't working at the moment, but just the basic drops on the side would come to be, I'd say, honestly, uh, uh, probably like 500k an hour. Um, 500k or, or 500 to 800k an hour from just generic drops. Um, but then you also get stuff like blood, blood essences. Uh, which aren't worth 10 million. This is just a basic price that's being thrown in from the game. What these are is they basically... It's like a thousand blood runes, literally. So when you're crafting blood runes, blood runes, it gives you extras. So I'm expecting this to be worth approximately 400k each. And then we also got these ecumenical key shards, which honestly, no idea what the fuck they are. So let's just try to combine some. Well, there's your answer. Um, it's an ecumenical key. I think it's 50 for one key. So very cool. Don't need to go into the wilderness for those. Um, and uh, I'm back onto four ecumenical keys. So that is really cool drop. This allows you to basically just come right back into it after you're banking or anything. In order to pass this door, you're going to be needing your ecumenical key. And yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. And uh, obviously, if you land on any of the Torva pieces, they're like 800, 900 million right now. After I post this video, I'm probably going to grind a lot more next, try to get as much KC as possible. Uh, but first, I guess we can, uh, we can just very quickly go to the house and just try to sell one of these, see how much they sell for. So let's go ahead and do that very quickly before we end the video for today. Obviously, this was just like a first look video, my very first initial thoughts about a boss as I just went into it on the day of the release, which was about five hours ago. Spent around four hours, um, four hours and a half getting 100 KC. And if we quickly try to sell these, I just try to sell one. That's just like 300k. I know they're worth more than that, but I just wonder how much people are buying them for. So they're insta-selling 445k. I think this is a very good price. So I'm just going to sell them for 445k. I think it's solid. So yeah, we did make a decent bit of money, actually. There we go. Boom. That's that. And I don't think anything else is sellable. So there it is. We, ma we basically made... Honestly, we basically made a million hour without any rare drops. Obviously, if you get rare drops... It, it boosts it up by by a lot. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a little like and I might make a, like a huge loot tab video from next if the video gets nice support. Anyways, have a beautiful new year and I'll see you again very soon with another one. Have a good one and bye-bye.